Hey, what's up guys? Mike Red Fox. In this video, we're going to replace the thermal pads on this RTX 3080 Ti. This is a gigabyte vision. Should be pretty straightforward and we're going to test it out afterwards. And as I'm doing it, I'll just talk about some of the things on my mind as we go. Let's dive right into this GPU. Should be pretty straightforward. I did a 3090 gigabyte vision, and they're essentially the same card, uh, except what I think is just the extra memory that would be on the back of the PCB on the 3090. I just I think they're probably identical otherwise inside. So this should be pretty straightforward. I'm gonna hopefully remember how to do this. And I think I have the right thermal pads on hand still. So we're gonna get going here. So taking out the screws on the back plate here. So we got those four and then the two smaller ones. And then you can see two here. And if you guys need any of the stuff that I use in these videos, take apart GPUs, it's all linked down in the description below, all really cheap. This stuff's not hard guys, don't be intimidated by any of this. So got those out, Let's see two more over here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove those. Uh, don't give me a hard time for my screw organization. I've been taking apart stuff for many, many years, and I have a good memory of where it goes. But if you need to, draw on a piece of paper, outline of the GPU, so you can place your screws where you need to go, use a magnetic screw mat or bin or something, but I'm going to be all right. Don't worry about me. So got those out of the back plate there, and I think that's probably it that's holding in this cooler. Let's see if we can loosen it up. Yep, there it is. Now, the nightmare with these Gigabyte GPUs is the fan connectors. And I've pretty much broke every single one. They're still usable. I'm going to try to get this one out that's right there without damaging it. It's going to take me a minute, and I should be okay to just do that, then replace the pads without having to take out the two that you see in the back there. So let me get going on this. So before I do that, just to show you, it's really tricky because they use this locking connector. I don't know if I can get it up close in the camera there. Yeah, I think you might be able to see that. So it's like this connector that has these pins that lock so it doesn't just, I guess, escape freely at any point, but also makes it really difficult to take out. I've been dealing with this since I did the RTX 3080 for the first time. Uh, and I'm just going to I'm going to give it a go again. Hopefully don't break the plastic, but even if I do, it still works. So no big deal, I guess. So I'm going to go struggle through that and check back in with you guys in a second. Guys, I just got that cable in record time. That was like 20 seconds. I'm so impressed with myself. I guess fourth time I'm doing this. I figured it out. So let's take a look inside this GPU. You can see memory modules right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's what these cards have. Uh, you can see the GPU die right there. I'll put new thermal paste on it as well. And you can see the pads that we're worried about here are these really terrible ones that Gigabyte uses. And the ones that cover the memory modules are the ones I'm going to replace, which are these right here. And you can probably see already this GPU is mining probably about a half hour ago. But look. I don't know if you can get it on camera there. Look how oily they are. Just an overall condition. It, they're just terrible thermal pads that they use. I don't know why. I don't know why. But we're going to replace them. Replace the paste. Clean this up. Get all the oil out of here. And we're going to be in really good shape. So let me remove these pads to do that. Really straightforward. Actually, before I do any cuts here, I'm going to measure one with you, which I think is two millimeters. And I use, as always, digital caliper to do that. So let me go ahead and cut, uh, power that on, get it calibrated. I'm going to take one of these off, just use my finger, peel it off. Sometimes it comes out in pieces, that's okay. And then I'm going to use this caliper to measure it and be careful not to squish it too far down. And let's see what we get. Oops. Yeah, so right there, just about two millimeters is what we're using on this. So I have those on hand. So let me get these off, get this cleaned up, 
And yeah, we're going to go from there. Let's do it. So as I do this, I'm so, I haven't even done a lot of these, but I'm already so over replacing thermal pads. And I have so many more GPUs to do this on. I got a couple more 3090s to do this on. I really should do it on my EVGA. So I have a couple of EVGA 3080 Ti's, more than a couple. I have three four the win threes, which are all right, but they would benefit from thermal pad replacement for sure. And then I have a XC3 EVGA that, that would definitely benefit from it. But even beyond that, I have so many of the uh, 3070 Ti's that would need it with that GDR6 X memory in them too. Uh, and it's just a lot of work. I'm going to put those in a server case at some point and see if I can avoid doing it. I have that 3090 right there. I don't know if you can see it. The EVGA, that could use it too. I've seen some people put just crazy heat sinks on the back of them to keep them cool, to dissipate the heat. So I might try that at some point as well, though I feel like this is like the end-all be-all solution is just replacing the thermal pads inside here. Okay, so we got that cleaned up. So a couple other things just I've been thinking about as I do this is I really pause buying new GPUs for a few months to work through just all the ones I had sitting around for so long because I just haven't had the time to get them up and mining between making YouTube content, working the full-time job, being a dad, being a husband, all that stuff. So I finally worked through a lot of that, almost all of it. And that feels really good. And I was like, what do I want to do now? Do I want to pick up more GPUs? Do I want to just cool it and really focus on you know, where my break even is at, which is really close, which is awesome. Um, or do I want to just start investing in more GPUs? My limiting factor is my electric, which I'm still not limited on. I'm still in a pretty good spot. I can run some more circuits to get some more GPUs going. But I've also considered like if I can get good cards, new cards, A2000s, which I should have some coming in, A4000s. You know, maybe that means I start getting rid of some of the AMD 5000 series cars and start rotating those out. You guys know, if you watch any of my videos, especially the one on efficiency, I always chase efficiency first. Just thinking ahead. Personally, you can do other things. That's totally okay. But, um, you know, that's where I'm at. Maybe I just keep chasing that efficiency and keep getting more and more efficient with my setup. So I am really happy where it's at right now. Still mining Ethereum on the majority of, of everything. This 3080 Ti was on LHR and Ethereum. But where I want to get it back on is solo mining. Um, any of the prog pile based algorithms. I was mining Firo, solo mining Firo for a while. But the temperatures are even worse on that than they were on Ethereum with the GDR6 X in here. So that's the plan is get this back solar mining on some of that stuff. Man, this thing is so oily. But yeah, that's a little bit of what I've been working on and um, trying to figure out like right now is the win if we're in the winter. So heat is not a problem. I'm using that heat for my house. But I'm thinking about next spring and summer. I don't know how I'm going to manage this anymore in this house. I don't know. I don't know if I'm, if, if profitability is still where it's at. I'm going to have to figure something out. Like it's going to be a reality where I have to figure out a second space to do mining. I don't know what that is yet. I have some options, but. Like, does that mean I have to rent a place? Like, am I at that point? It's pretty wild to think about. All right, that's looking pretty good enough for me. So let me get some new thermal paste on here. Actually, let me do the thermal pads first, and then we're going to get some thermal paste on here. So those are the pads I like to use. Link will be down in the description below. They've served me well. 
And these are pretty much enough to do one GPU uh, if you're curious. So I'm going to get this opened up, get them all cut to size and placed on there. All right, got the thermal pads installed. So now I'm going to do thermal paste here. Just put a little bit in the center. And then I'm going to spread it out. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. Let's cover this NVIDIA chip. So other things I was thinking about, I don't know if you guys saw all the news of, I might need some more of this, of more NVIDIA GPUs coming. So there's the 3090 Ti, a 3050, like a, the 2060 12 gigabyte, and then also another revision of the 3070 Ti, I think I saw. With 12, with 12 gigabytes? Is that what it was? I can't remember. But man, I <laughs> they don't stop. That's crazy. Like, I guess on one end, this feels like a lot, but I feel like I need it. On one end, if there's the ability to saturate the market with more GPUs because you have the capacity to do that, then I guess that's fine. As long as the capacity you're using couldn't been have been used by the original uh, run of GPUs. Like if the 2060 is running on a different architecture and can be made on a 2060 machine, and that's the only thing that that machine can do, then fine. But if there's machines that can make 3080s or 3090s and you're going to have them make 2060s and not that, I don't understand. Uh, and then the MSRP pricing, oh, who even knows anymore? It's not even worth getting upset about because it's just, there isn't one. What is it? The 6600 XTs I was buying for 400, 450 are now 650 MSRP. I didn't even realize that they went up that much. It's totally wild to me. I don't even know what to do about it anymore. I just, just keep trucking along. That's just what it is. All right, this is looking decent. I think I used a little too much, but I think we're going to be okay here. I think this GPU will live to tell the tale. So that, the chip is covered with thermal paste. I'm going to remove the plastic off of the thermal pads. That would be really bad if I forgot that. These are looking good already, much improved. All that oil gone. All right, got that one. And then last one. So if you're watching one of these videos for the first time, I hope you feel way less intimidated doing this. Because it is, it is really, really easy. Just be careful with the connectors. That's the only thing I would say. So we're ready to put this thing back together. So I'm going to go ahead and Flip this up here. Get that one connector that's difficult back in. Much easier going in. Snap that in place. Keep that cable out of the way there. And then I just got to sit this GPU back together. Make sure I got even pressure here. I'm going to flip it around. A little misaligned. So I'm just going to move it over a tad. That looks much better. And just inspect, make sure nothing moved around. Looking good. Okay, I'm gonna fix this thermal pad. See that thermal pad moved around a little bit? You can see right there, I'm gonna fix that before we put this whole thing back down. Just gonna get that right exactly where I want it. Okay, I like that much better. Everything else looks like it stayed in place. So we're going to be in good shape. Let's get this GPU all put back together. I guess the only other thing really on my mind lately has just been like, where does crypto go from here? It's been a year of this kind of extreme profitability, which has been amazing. And I just don't know what happens now. Like, where do we go from here? 
I'm really fortunate and thankful to have had the times that we've had in this last year. Really since last November, I think, is when things started kicking off. But I really don't know where we go from here just thinking about the road ahead and what decisions I might want to make. A lot of people start talking about you got to – maybe now's the time to sell GPUs. I really like what worked for me last time was just riding the wave – and not trying to predict it and then rotating out old GPUs and rotating in new GPUs and selling them for a decent price. I really like that strategy, but who knows what the future is going to bring. But I think I just like riding out the wave. I don't try to predict anything or time anything. I think that's just what works well for me. Uh, okay, last thing I'm going to do on this GPU is try to clean out inside these fans here because it is so disgusting in there from all that oil that just leaked in there and then just collected dust. So let's see how this does. Just rotating this around with some alcohol on it. Look at that. How gross is that? The other one. Thanks, Gigabyte. All right, looking much better. Much, much better. I guess this is just maintenance on this GPU. You have to you have to clean the gnats that collect inside your fans. All right, let's get this thing on the test bench and see how we did. 3080 Ti is over in the test bench. You can see it right there. It's been mining for a little bit, so let's see how we're doing. Switching over here, you can see T-Rex Miner. I am currently mining Firo, and I'm hitting over 58 mega hash per second on the Firo Pow algorithm. I'm using the full TDP of this GPU coming in at 350 watts. You can see the quick overclocks I have in MSI Afterburner, and I'm running the fans at 80%, but that's not what we're here to see. We're here to see those VRAM temperature improvements. And look at that, 86C. We dropped from 110, where it was thermal throttling, all the way down to 86 degrees Celsius. So this just once again shows the importance of replacing the stock thermal pads, especially in these gigabyte GPUs that have GDDR6X memory. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more GPU mining content. Join my Discord if you want to chat. The link is down in the description. And as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I will see you in the next video.